Hello, Monsters of Bounty, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 19 of my Marathi campaign where we still haven't invaded Ulthlon. Holy fuck. The thing is, we've got I've got some armies here, and you know what? I, c I probably could I, I I probably could I probably could I probably could I probably could invade Ulthlon now. I probably could. Now, now I've turned it into a big thing. Now it feels if you've watched Peep Show, the seat where the the first episode where Mark puts his hand on the seat and then Sophie sits on it and he's like, oh, but then it's too late to say anything. And that's kind of where I am now. I've kind of left it so late, it now feels awkward to invade Ulthwan. If I'd invaded it right off the bat, I would have felt like, okay, this this feels natural. Now it just feels stupid. Anyway. <laughs> We've we've got we've got some agent. I don't want, I don't really want to steal. Well, do I want to steal? Fuck it, I'll steal technology. Yeah, fuck it, we'll do it. See if I care. See if I care. How can you travel so far? You travelled all the way over there, and you can barely reach. No, you can actually reach. All right, fine. Uh, damage the walls. Do they though? Well, he descended to the wrong fucking place, didn't he? Well, you both failed. Uh, but if we can potentially... The problem is you can't ambush on C, which makes it really awkward. It's not even like I've got a lot of... As far as they're concerned, I've got two armies here. Two armies, not even a garrison in Moonshard, I don't think. No. One army and a garrison, and they're still playing coy. They've got five armies hanging around, not doing anything. I mean, it does mean they're not doing anything. They're just... They're just chilling. Um, Mike Crotch burns. You know what would be useful is can you travel through the gate? You can. We're gonna we're gonna go through the we're gonna go through the gate. I'm going deeper underground. There's too much trouble in this. I'm going deeper underground. Uh, what do I want? Let's, give you, let's make you hard to hit. What do you have? Uh, I mean, all of your stuff is pretty legit. Vassalage with Slanesh. Might be useful if there was any Slanesh factions on the map, which there are not now. They are all fucking dead. So, if Nakari was still alive, that would be really useful. But he's not. He just died a horrible death very early on. Got absolutely wiped. What's a useless bastard? Honestly, what a useless bastard. Did one job. Keep the High Elves busy. What did he manage to do? Bugger all. Absolutely bugger Wait, hang on a second. That, was that going to take eight turns? Are you shitting me? Eight turns? Where is it? Oh, uh, it's in the mountains. All right, fair enough. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Good. Okay, so I mean, Bellacor's currently just running around Ulthwan completely unopposed. Oh, he's not actually at war with Tyrion. How the fuck do you not have diplomatic contact? What the shit? I swear to God. No dip. Are you. Are you. What? How? I swear to God that they, they, they did make it better. But there is this thing where the AI will just not manage that. You will meet everyone nearby. If you take a, a city on a on a sea, you will get to know everyone who borders that region. The AI doesn't. They they have to be so close to notice it. It it's, uh, it, it has been it has got better, admittedly. Um, like a year ago, they changed it. It was a point where you could have Marathi on one side and Tyrion on the other, and they would have no diplomatic contact. Which is fucking insane, because at, at, at that point, you are within line of sight of each other. Um, but it's really weird. Very, very odd the way they've done it. I'm assuming it's to... Ah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm assuming it's to stop them from declaring war on each other or something. But, I mean, if anything, that's kind of working too well, because they tend to be quite resistant to declaring war on each other anyway. Okay, can we reach this? Oh, we could march, can we? All right, through the gates. Traverse. Absolute worst case, you both die. That's worst case. 
This kind of feels a bit like the uh, the thing of chaos, realm of chaos thing. Where you, but it feels better because it's optional. And also, your economy isn't so catastrophically shit. I think that was the, one of the main problems with the Realm of Chaos, was that you basically had just one army that was good. And uh, that was it. <laughs> so, you send them through the gate, and then every faction that's in a 10 mile radius of you immediately declares war, and uh, is, is gunning for you, and it's, t it's a terrible experience. Uh, sure. Because that was kind of the problem, was that you you didn't have much of an army, whereas the AI could support multiple stacks, of course. And that meant that you kind of had this issue where... I, I always found it in the Realm of Chaos anyway. You sent your Legendary Lord through the Realm of Chaos, which is what you had to do to win. During that time, you got assaulted by every single AI army on the map. Your Lord came out and then had to retake the stuff that had been lost during his his little holly bobs and then the next one spawned and you did it all again Futile. Uh, yeah it did it did kind of feel that way yes so we are going do i go on the offensive i feel like going on the offensive we should go on the offensive right they've got one army down here unlikely it's not unlikely you definitely have an army up there uh, where can you move normally i don't know dreadlord of nagara could you mm. What is your dark purpose? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Are yours. Guided by a thought. Beast commander. You're in range, right? You can give us a little bit of support. Yep, okay. We're going to pull... Bring right, we're going to... The, these guys no. should fight us, right? Two on two. Oh, come on! Oh, you little shits! Ready to ravage. You absolute bastards! Feel my power. Uh, can you? Mm. Torture them. Okay, so you're definitely going to run away. So I'm hoping I can reach you. Following orders. Okay. Sailing. You little shit. Okay, you need to get wrath. closer. Beware, Amina's wrath. Okay. Now you can't run away. It's like, it's like medium casualties as well. Close victory. Come on, guys. And I know I've kicked the shit out of you repeatedly, but, you know, come on. We got the lads immediately charging in there. Alistair's turned up, obviously. I probably should play a high-off campaign at some point. I just don't like them very much. If someone said, what was the faction you... you you liked the least in the game, it would definitely be high offs. And uh, I don't, don't really have a reason for that. It's just, I just think they, they're just, oh, they're just so dull. Even the Empire is interesting because it's got cannons and shit, but these guys are just like Dark Elves, but better and not as good. Well, I mean, not as good, not, not as fun. That's it. They're better, but they're not as fun, in my opinion. Anyway, so we're beating up the dragon, which is good, although the uh, turkey has made a break for it and is now managing to dodge all my crossbow bolts somehow. It's just at, I, f I feel like Goth Jennifer Lawrence got more crossbow bolts lodged in her than that turkey. What the fuck are you aiming at, you idiots? Jesus. Oh, come on, guys. Jesus Christ. This fucking turkey is annoying me. Okay, any reinforcements arriving, but so are ours. Taking out Alistair now. Dragon is on the run. Turkey is down, down, down. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. And it's back to life. Fantastic. I hate turkeys so much. I hate them so much. I hate that. I hate that mechanic. You know why? Because losing a unit is a pain in the ass. A unit that dies is worthless. To you as a player um so realistically you're never you're very rarely going to get into the position where you're going to rely on your phoenix coming back to life you're not going to let it get into a situation where it's going to die which means that that mechanic the ability to come back to life is literally a mechanic for the ai because the ai will throw its units away it does not give a shit so 
I, I, I had I had one fucking Firefox. Firefox? No, that's the browser. Fire Fire Phoenix tur roast turkey. I had a roast turkey. It came back to life four times. I was losing my mind. Okay, in the trees. Got the Pride Main Company clashing into our line, but we seem to be all right. Uh, they got the spiky hydras and the normal hydras. And, uh oh, there's a dragon there. A dragon unattended is a dragon that's going to use flame breath on me. We are going to lightning it, though, and it does actually do a lot of damage, although keeping a dragon still for that long, quite, quite tricky. Oh, fuck! Oh, I mean, that could have been worse, actually. That could have been a lot worse. Unfortunately, these nuts manages to uh, keep the dragon occupied. And the dragon is currently fighting war hydras down below, which is fine by me. But a lot of guys smash it, trying to break through our light. A big cavalry charge in the centre there, and it has managed to push through. Which means our shades are now fighting as well. Luckily, it is the shade. Well, that's a crossbow. It's, it's mostly fine. Our cavalry, though, have that burst through our line to start running down enemy missile units, harassing us. Bombardment, not necessarily managing to take units out, but at least causing them to shift around. Can't dodge that though, can you? Yep, it's gonna follow you. Uh, the boys, Dildo and Curly Pubes, racing back, having dealt with Alistair. And they're gonna go and tie up some more missile units, basically keeping them all entertained. The Dragon Prince is facing off against the Dread Knights, but the Dread Knights are better. The one Dread Knights have just more armor and more melee attack and defense, and also weapon strength and armor piercing. They don't have the charge bonus, but otherwise they are better in pretty much every other way. So uh, once that charge bonus wears off, they are screwed. Dragon crashing in to the stupid sexy snake lady who is currently having a bath. Not not sure why she's having a bath on a raised platform. Kind of weird, but never mind. It's just how it is. Cavalry moving in as well, but we've got the Black Ark Corsairs with handbows right next to that little engagement, and they are, I mean, they're going to they can destroy everything they get their hands on. More handbows moving in. It's basically a mop up operation. We don't really have to worry too much about chasing these guys down because they've already retreated once. Which means this army is going to die. Well, both of these armies are going to die. Yes, you are. Excellent. That was pretty clean. However, there are High beast master. still of potential issues. High beast master. Uh, I need you. Wait, what are you doing? High beast master. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. No one's. Wait, no one's recruiting from you, are they? Black oh Heart shit! You might Dreadlord. be. Hang on. Right, cancel all of that. Dreadlord of the Druki. I approve of these dark deeds. Yes. Uh, you still can't move. Why? Of the Black Court. Who else is? Oh, maybe you. Get rid of that. Dreadlord. Now you can move. <laughs> Got there in the end. Okay. As long as none of you have lightning strike, and I don't think you do, because none of you have got a particularly big blue blob. We should be fine. I could maybe try and pick you off. That would that would really that would that would make me a lot safer. Plus your army's a bit shit. If we if we move both the ocean awaits. You're gonna Oh no, you're fine. Okay, you'll run away. Lovely. 
Not too far. Perfect. You can't reinforce, can you? Only Black Arts can reinforce from from C. So we can bop you. Ow. Probably should have fought that. Never mind. And then... We'll just meander over here. Now, you could march to engage us, but we could just run away from that. So, mm, could we? It's probably all right. We can probably take two stacks. Probably. Or at least maul them badly enough that they regret their life choices anyway. Uh, you are too far away. You are too far away. Hmm. I mean, they'll have to march. They'll be tired. They might I not cannot. want to. Speak your poisoned words and be gone. Strength rank five. How how are you fucking straight on eleven settlements? And I've been killing your armies left, right, and centre, mate. It's not even funny at this point. The amount of armies you've just had absolutely slaughtered by me. Like, jeez. Okay, we could be in a little bit of trouble here. I should have fought that. I was like, we won't, we won't take too much damage from that. And, uh, how wrong I was. Barb Storm, more range, missile strength. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, that's definitely the best one. Shoot them all. I could. Because you... You can get to there. We are never broken. The predators come. Why might go up here? Damn you. Full speed ahead. March you Over up here. I think we're out of range. Unlikely. I don't think you can reach us. So effectively, you won't be able to gang up Absolutely on us. And I don't not. think your feet. I don't think the AI is ballsy I enough to try and take a one army with two armies with one of mine. No, two, two of my armies, one of theirs. There we go. That's that's the right way around. Basically, the AI is a coward. Uh, name of power, sure. Okay, we can get that one, or this one's definitely the best one, so we'll grab that, even though we don't have any shades in this army. But we can get, we can get shades. It's not a problem. We can do it. Is Lion Breaker? No, it is it is Raid Leader or Shades. Yes, lovely. Good. Okay, we'll do that. You boop boop boop. Boop. I can't remember what effect you had. Barb Storm. Right, so Chief Master. Just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? More range, more damage. A bloody victory. Nature's torment. Oh, you still got a skill point. I do apologize. Uh, that one. For blood. Uh, you don't have dragons. D. Uh, yeah. Okay. You you do you do have hydras now. Goth Jennifer Lawrence, the OG. As the kids would say, do they still say that? Probably. Okay, we seems wild for not a spell I tend to use very much. Uh, you've pretty much got everything, so I think I can just tick you and you can just do your own thing. And probably same with you. Yeah. Yeah, you're both fine. You have tenacity, fleet footed, and then I'm gonna tick you because again, you're probably fine, you've got everything I really kinda of want you to get. As long as you get your combat skills, pretty much all we need. Okay, we can we can land on Ulth one. We do have three armies. I could like make another army. Mm, I'm gonna get you, Sid. Just get a bog standard army to start off with seems fine. If we can stay, if we can start taking some chunks out of Tyrion, it will, it will remove his ability to recruit additional units, sort of, in a way. There was a post on Reddit, which was about 
the AI spamming armies after the patch, which I think is entirely valid. They definitely are spamming more armies after the patch. Um, but they want someone defending it, saying, oh, well, you, you can't damage their economy, but you can take out their their cities and therefore their ability to recruit units. And it's kind of like, well, yeah, you can. But if you've said in this strategy game, the AI does not need to worry about its economy, that is bad. Because there are things in the game that should affect the... Like Plague, for example. Some of the plagues, and it's a fairly new mechanic, affect the ability for the AI to make money. But if that isn't actually a... If, that, if that's never going to be an issue for them, what's the point in having it? It's literally useless. It, it's just a trap for the player to go, oh, this will be useful. No, it won't. It never will. Reducing the AI's ability to make money is effectively useless. So then why does it exist? Oh, they've actually just run away. Interesting. I thought they might actually go on the offensive, but nope, they, they've just booked it. I command the beast. <laughs> just being like, nope, 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 nope. My whip. Oh, that's very nice. It's a nice whip. Um, tell you what. If we Such attack the city, Kill maintain them. the blockade, if you could just land, perfect. I, we will make them bleed. We will reclaim our treasures. So then you I'm gonna hop outside. Enter these confines. It'd be best if you stayed inside. Tyrion is there, which is a problem. Sorceress! I want them dead. My vision predict failure. Bring it. This might might have been a little bit like this might have been a little bit um. To, oh no, we can march an army over here. This is fine. We can march an army over there. The only slight issue might be if Tyrion decides to go for white if he uses White Peak to attack. Cruel and deadly. Uh, we could always just meander up here, and you're fine. And then we've we've kind of got. He he would have to attack the city. He would then fight multiple armies. That is not that is not going to work for him, right? That is that is a bad. That's a bad idea. Uh, I'm going to send you down this way just to keep an eye on what's going on. Okay, we can hit White Peak next turn, and we can bring Admiral Dicklock. Mm, do we want to bring Admiral? Maybe I keep him here for a minute. I'm going to bring you over to the Moon Shard, though. Okay, we've we've got a beachhead. Once we've taken some cities, we can then ferry... Uh, maybe we don't have any armies to ferry across. But if we did have armies to ferry across, we could ferry them across. So that's good. I mean, at least... At least you're... Where, where are you going? Why are you going to Ashrak? Why? What? Why are you stacking your armies again? There's something weird going on with the prior... I Because as far as I'm aware, the AI has like a priority list of... Of what it's going to do. So why does this army want to go to the so circle of destruction? I don't know. I have no idea why they want to go there. Why do you want to go over here? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe to recruit units, but you've already got a 20 stack. So why are you going there? What's the point? There doesn't seem to be any real, any real point for this. The other thing is, why the fuck is this guy targeting a settlement all the way down here when there are settlements here? That doesn't make sense. There's a lot of things, I think, in the AI for Total War, which does not really make sense. A lot of it is sort of a bit janky. And I feel like they could make the game better just by making the AI a little bit more, I don't know, sane? Could be a bit of a big ask. Uh, when are we going to pop out the portal? Oh, we have. Uh, is this rats? Have we met any rats? Hello, rats. Skaven, Skaven, Clan Rectus. Let's sit. Could we. 86,000. Oh, Christ, that's a lot of money. Uh, oh, you don't really care about me. You're not worried about my trespassing, so. Okay. That's fine. Good. Good. 
That's good. Right, what do we have going on over here? The mother. As the grave. Uh, let's head in this Let direction. All tremble. Supreme sorceress at Grant. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna sneak. We're gonna. We're gonna sneak. We're sneaking. It's a covert op. care if you're unhappy to be honest. Supreme. Suck it up, I buttercup. For the witch. Uh, you know what? I am going to use these guys to water resolve this because it won't hurt me as much. Then we can occupy. Okay, you need a little while to heal up, so we are going to sit in ambush stance here. I could go on the I could go on the offensive here. Do we do they have any more armies in this jet? Okay, they do have an army here which could march up and attack me. Okay. We're just gonna we we we've, we've established the beachhead. We're assuming there's going to be a counterattack. So holy shit, Belakar, you've actually managed to do something. Holy balls. Good job, buddy. Nice work. Why are you, why are you, what, why are you clustered around Hotex Column? Oh, fuck my life, what are you doing? You're just clustered around settlements. There's something not right here. There's something not right. They, I mean, okay, these guys are recruiting, which makes sense. I guess they're recruiting as well, but you guys aren't. So why is why are you so desperate to to jump onto Hotex column? Duh. Phrasing. Black hearted. Lord of the Black Court. Don't don't feel right. They should be invading fucking Ulthwan. Instead, they're just dicking about. I mean, maybe they're waiting for like, maybe they're going to wave assault it, attack at the same time, which is not necessarily the worst idea. Okay, sneak, 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 um, but it's one of those armies where they can't really replace it. Or at least they can't when they're not the crisis. I don't know. I don't know what I get up to in the crisis. Maybe it's worse. I don't know. Uh, still, at least we've got a little Black Ark support heading on over. At least Belakar's doing something. That's nice. And Tyrion is... He's now at strength rank 15, which isn't very good. Is it good? Uh, uh, it's not quite mid-table, but... Holy shit. Have I met you? Barrow Legion. Uh, you're straight... Okay, you're not very Speak. useful. But the Sundites... Nah, nah. What? Nah, nah. Uh, oh, you're straight like 11. The has already told me your offer. Has it? Has it though? Okay. No. Oh, Malekith almost wants to confederate. Naught point one. Naught <laughs> point one. Good. Gr I mean, do I want to confederate Malekith? It's a lot of admin, but on the other hand, having all of his armies to throw at my enemies is. Could be kind of useful. And also, he's not doing very much at the moment, is he? Lord of the Little Black turd. 
Uh, I like stupid sexy snake ladies. I just think they're neat. It's that 19 and then we put a sorceress in your army. I'm going to do... Hmm, intelligent Cruel. Malicious, meh, cunning, hmm, perceptive, eh, perceptive is fine. Who seeks my I do, I do. Alright, you I hop in there. The that might be enough to get the confederation with Malekith. I think basically he it's, it's based on power. So, mind you, he will probably recruit more guys and then it'll go out of whack. But it, it, it's fairly close, I mean... I just don't know if I want to take it, just because look at all the admin, all the armies I've got to move. It's a nightmare. Oh, there's so much shit to do each turn. It's, it turns each turn into a fucking quagmire. Hello, Tyrion. Right, mate? It's weird. <laughs> it's weird that he waited until I had three armies that could squash him to decide to attack when he's been sat there for so long. Maybe he really wanted that city back. The mother of the Druki will hear. Uh, Heinrich, you've got like one settlement. All right, fine. How much loyalty? Oh, it's just money. Mm. Ah, I'll cut some extra. Other guests. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, it's all kicking off. Uh, I will. Sure. Christ. I mean, I do like the Satchel of Potions. Anyone else going to have an event? No? Cure what? A terror to their enemies. Chlamydia? Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, he's, the thing is, he's just there as a defense, so I don't know what else you want, really want. Uh, let's let's just double... Okay, come on. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, lovely. It's gone to minus one. It's close, though. It's close. Is he actually... Oh, he's actually doing stuff now. At least it says he's doing stuff. Will he change his mind next turn? I don't know. I'd really like an agent over here so I could I could see what's going on. Okay, let's just hobgoblins. Let's just hobgoblins. We're going in. We're going in. First in, first out. I'm going to fight this just in case. Oh, the main problem with fighting Chaos Dwarves is um, their bombardment. I will say that was unlucky because those blasts can kind of hit anywhere in the radius and it just so happened we got clipped by one that fell right on the edge uh, which was upsetting. However, the actual damage was minimal. Uh, we didn't lose anyone there and we lost like five guys there so... You know, could have been significantly worse. Meanwhile, Bendover is being shot by arrows. He's fine. And our reinforcements are arriving in just under 10 seconds. We've got guys hidden here and here. And currently Marathi and, hang on, Amanda Hump are being flamed. Dodge the flames. That's it. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Oh, no, that hit you. Okay, well, uh, what did it? I, I don't know. I, think, I'm, I'm, I swear that flew through a tree. Bullshit. Never mind. Time to get sucked off. Little hobgoblins. There we go. Lovely stuff. Okay, the shades are harassing the flank. We got, uh, we got other goth j -Law. He's got a manticore. It's fancy, isn't it? Look at that. It's like a big kitty with wings. I. It's probably a giant flying twat. 
I can't get my cat to come indoors. She's terrified of, I think, that it's like she's playing the floor is lava. She'll she'll climb across the work surfaces and like the sofa and chairs and stuff, but she won't, she'll, she hates going on the floor. What the fuck is that? How does that work? I don't even know why it started. At first I was like, shit, is there like a snake or something in the house? Like what the fuck's going on? But I, I genuinely have no idea. The cat's just insane. Could be, could be feline dementia? Like, what is... I, I don't know. Alright, well, the cavalry is out, and we're now hunting down hobgoblin archers, which shouldn't be particularly difficult, obviously, if they were throwing chaos dwarves at us. Slightly more difficult, but this is fine. The bombardment there. Lovely. Okay. I mean, this, this was never going to be particularly difficult. We just need to be very efficient because uh, I've got a sneaky suspicion there's a big nasty army hanging around somewhere and uh, I don't want to have to deal with it. It's... Okay, what I would like to do here is sack and then pull back. However, I can't do that because we've got no way of replenishing here. Because we we don't have an encampment stance. Dark Elves do not have an encampment stance. The only thing we have is channeling, which could work, but is a little bit dicey. Basically, we need territory. Um, However, I don't want to stay in the territory just in case. So we're going to bring both of our ladies over here. I I don't know if they've got an army wandering around. The army they start off, again, I think they start off with a couple of armies actually, are really quite nasty. So I'm going to play it safe. You are fine. Excellent. Okay, so we're making ground here. Is Tretch, at, I mean, Tretch would be at war with everyone, won't they? I just can't see trash at the moment. Okay, let's have a look. You, why don't, what, what's wrong? My treaties with Harganeth. Do you not like Harganeth? Oh. Hang on. Do you, do you guys not get on? Are you, are you shitting me? I thought you were firm friends. You do get on. What the fuck's the problem with you? You both get on. Why the fuck are you, what? Hang on. What the fuck is your problem? Why? Why is treaties with Harganeth an issue? You bloody idiot! God Christ on a bike. Um. Always ready for a headbutting contest. I don't really want that. But thanks for the offer. Hmm, I mean, trade agreement, maybe. It's going up. I think I think the problem is you have recruited more stuff and therefore you look stronger. If you if you throw stacks at Ulf one, that may that may change. Uh I am tempted to say we could take Griffin Gate. That would potentially put us at odds with we have got really much of a choice, and we just got to go for it. Uh, I will encircle because we need both of our boys. If we if we can take the gates, then we get access to the center. And also, they don't. Okay. We have one of the gates. I'm kind of tempted. What are you doing? Uh, I really could use with like this army over here to back me up. But that's okay. We can. If you are in the, I I don't think. Mm. Hey, they've only got. Are you recruiting? No. So they've only got the one and a half armies here. Do I think that Mara uh, that Jenna Goth Jennifer Lawrence could take that on? Probably. I like to believe that she could. I believe I can fly. Oh, you can't sing that song anymore, can you? Black-hearted dreadlord. 
do uh you know what i might do a dark conjure i think that could be useful i know we got the black arc but we've got enough black arcs i don't really know what to do with them <laughs> I've got I've got enough black arcs. I think it's safe to say black arc production is fine. Um sure. Tyrant of Nagaroth. Sure. You know what? Nerd Rage Fred says that, that high elves are best just basically better dark elves, and uh, I, I think he's onto something there. I think he's not wrong. I'm just thinking, cause if you if you want a nice tanky front line, right, you can take uh, Swordmasters of Hoeth because they they have missile resistance. Nothing high level in the Dark Elf roster has missile resistance. Plus, you've got Sisters of Avalon who are basically armor piercing bows, which are longer range and also do magic damage. So, uh, basically, so basically, the the high elves are just better in every way than the Dark Elves, which is a bit of a shame. I almost never play the High Elves, though, because I think they suck. Sorry, High Elf lovers. Destructive, this one. Useful. But you're just wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we will, we'll sit there and ambush. You should be ready next turn, right? Yeah, one more turn, and we can bring you over here to back up... Uh, Goth Jennifer Lawrence. You guys have taken Griffin Gate, which is great. Torrin Rock is currently fairly safe. Wait, what does the what does this do? Upkeep reduction for okay, that's fine. Um, but we will build defenses and we can rush that as well. Uh, just to just to get a nice little boost. Lovely. Should keep keep us good. Uh, you yeah. Okay. Well, tell you what we could do. We could rush this. And then we could rush defenses. And then if they do want to pick a fight with us, they'll have to fight the defences as well. Lovely. There we go. That'll keep them busy, won't it? Or busier, anyway. Malevolent Lord. Okay, otherwise, I think we're all good. We, we've landed in Ulf 1. We are slowly making... It's, surpri it's surprising. No, me. It's surprising that there's not more, like, fighting going on here. I would have thought that because because these guys are now at war with literally everyone... So war with them. They're only war with two, with clan Moors and the overlords. Everyone else is at war with them. Um, but maybe, I guess maybe they just. This is a weird crisis. Like I, I like the idea of it, but you'd think they would have a few armies. So you think you'd have an army in each of these settlements minimum, and maybe a couple more as like a defense force. But no, and also. The the armies that spawn out of it are very slow. Like they 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 almost never turn up, which is just odd. As a crisis, it's kind of a bit weird. Hello. You are where are you attacking? Oh, you're attacking the gates. Wait, where is this? Gotcha. Oh no, Gotcha of Florence. Right, so. You're attack right, you've you okay, that actually makes my life easier, because if we can kill off these two armies, we can just head south and clean up the entire western coast of Ulthwan. And I'll be honest, it it does I'm assuming you didn't realise that Goth Je Goth Jennifer Lawrence was was waiting for you. Lovely. That, however, is gonna have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.